What's up, bros? Got your host, Fredbro Beast Star Terry here with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about the Arkham Legacy with Slash Suicide, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We're going to be talking about that because everyone's talking about that today, January 30th, 2024. That's what everybody is talking about. That is what everybody is discussing. And it is actually very controversial. And I don't even know why people had it. I'm, I'm, I hate that I'm not trying to be a dick. Like, I have seen Degenerate J's opinion on this game. I've seen a lot of YouTubers' opinions on this game. It has mostly been negative where I was looking. And the only ones positive are the ones that support bullshit because you know it's a live service game and there's nothing wrong with live service games there's ones that'll do it right but it's just i feel like this one it, it's not even just the live service factor it's the fact that i kind of knew this game wasn't going to be good from the start and that that's such a shitty take but i kind of figured if you're going to go with basing your um your fucking trailers and your campaign on the game about the Arkhamverse, you're not selling the game to anybody. You're selling it to the Arkham fans. And the people that want it, and the people that like want to see this game or succeed, whatever, is the people that don't really care about the characters. Let's let's be fucking honest. Like I met someone on Marvel, like Marvel Avengers way back. And I know it's off time, but I met someone on Marvel Avengers way back. And this guy is like, like I'm like, hey man, you excited for Gotham Knights or something? Because I was really, I, I, to be honest with you, Gotham Knights is nothing compared to Arkham. But and at the time, you know, Gotham Knights was coming out. Gotham and Gotham Knights could have been the next big thing, but it wasn't. But that's what it could have been. Anyways, I was talking to the guy and I'm like, hey man, you excited for Gotham Knights? He's like, nah man, I'm really a like a villain type person. I'm like, and I'm like sitting there thinking, I'm like, why the fuck are you on Marvel Avengers? The fuck? Like, what? What part of that makes sense? Like, why the fuck are you on Marvel Avengers? And then, and then he's like, he's like, I'm excited for that Suicide Squad game. And I'm like, this nigga cannot be a real, like, and I hate to say real fan, but it's like, I feel like the people that only care about Suicide, like, there's not a lot, there's not big people that care about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, because you want to know why? It has this whole thing saying, this game is canon to the Arkhamverse. You know, like, I feel like if they didn't say it was canon to the Arkhamverse or something, like, the game would have been fine, and it would have been this whole thing where they basically, you know, like, they don't connect it to Arkham like Gotham Knights is it. That would have been fine. But it's the fact that you decide to connect it to a strong fan base that cares about your games. And the funniest thing is I feel like this game was corporately made because there is no way, and I hate to say there is no fucking way I feel like Roxay did not agree on this entirely. And I feel like when WB got their hands on Rockstar, they're like, hey, we need you to make a Suicide Squad game like that quick. We need you to make a game for us, Suicide Squad. We need to sell Suicide Squad. And, you know, since you made Arkham, say it's, say it's connected to Arkham. And I know that's like a bullshit thing to say, but the game feels so corporately made. People have even said, like, I think um, the people that worked for him even said, like, oh, yeah, the Joker was unexpected. Like, they didn't even know they were going to make the Joker. And it's like, if the Joker wasn't even planned for the game, that means WB was like, hey, we need to throw in, throw in a uh, character that's very, um, you know, very, very known. It's a villain. We need to throw in, throw in a character. And it's like, why the fuck even, like, it's just like the whole point of this game is corporately made. And I'm going to get to the drama. Don't worry. I'm getting to the drama. The drama is going to be covered. And it's about... I hate that, like, I haven't even played the game. I don't plan on buying the game because I'm not going to lie, 2K24 just came out. I don't, and, all right, okay, I'm losing my train of thought. Let me just get back on topic. The thing I'm mad about is it's the fact that they're connecting it to the Arkhamverse. It's not that they're trying to sell the game to you. They're selling it to the Arkham fans. Like, I, I know I said that, but think about it. Why would you ever say that it's connected to an eight-year-old game unless you're trying to sell to the fans that bought your games before? You're trying to sell a game that isn't even remotely the same type of game. And then not only that... They decide to kill off their characters so anti-climatic and they can't speak. You kill off it. Now, storytelling-wise, if this was the animated series, Batman, 
probably would have been fine with this because he even went along the line saying that that I could be taken down by Joker or even just some punk with a gun that gets lucky. Which that's that's great because that's another Kevin Conroy Batman, but the Arkham is a completely different Batman from the animated series, so just that that wouldn't add up, especially when this Batman has you know lost so much. And then he also have lost, like, he has also won a lot. Like, he has beaten a bunch of deadly assassins in one night in Arkham Origins. He has, um, he has basically survived Mr. Freeze, Ra's al Ghul, and a bunch of other strong villains. But he gets taken down by D-listed villains and shot by Harley Quinn. Which, Harley Quinn, he has taken down three fucking times. Like, come on. Come on, really? Really? Like, I, the, the thing is that makes me so mad, like, it, like, I know it's just a video game franchise, you don't need to get upset about it, but, this, like, these Arkham games were my livelihood of my childhood. Like, every single one of them, every last one of them. I didn't play Arkham Origins that much, but I do remember still picking up the game and playing it, like, a bit, and doing a bit of free roam. But other than that... I played a lot of Arkham City. I played a lot of Arkham Asylum when I was a lot younger. Like, I fucking grew up on these games. And I remember being excited, waiting to get um, Arkham Knight. And, man, I remember getting Arkham Knight from my barber. Like, he's like, yeah, you can have the game. He drops off at my house. I was so fucking excited to play that game. Holy shit. Arkham, the Arkham, like, I know it's been like eight years or something. Ten, almost ten fucking years, basically. And this game, I still pick up the game and play it. I, I'm still trying to beat the story right now for Arkham Knight because my whole fucking save data that I'm playing on currently got fucking corrupted. Some Not even corrupted, just glitched. But I still enjoy the Arkham game because it's the best Batman game we have ever gotten. And not, not only that, but this game has been toppled to, like, you know, every game to use its combat. And then the fact that we... Basically Basically ended up killing off Kevin, Kevin Conroy's like instead of leaving the game in a mist they decide the shit on everything that Arkham has done in the past like in the last eight years they have shat on everything and when I mean everything like I don't know how people didn't get mad about this but they also like they decided to bring back Poison Ivy and made her a kid now I, there's people that were talking about like oh Harley being a pedo or something that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the fact that they undone character growth that has been, like, literally Poison Ivy died saving Gotham City. They undone so much character growth that it makes no fucking sense. It makes no fucking sense. Like, I don't know why people aren't mad about that, too. Like, I'm mad about the fact that they disrespect Con Instead of leaving Kevin Conroy's Batman in Arkham Knight, leaving it alone, leaving it a mystery, letting people believe whatever, like, the last shot of Batman in the end of Arkham Knight was... They decided to do something else. They decided to one-up themselves and be like, you know what? Let's completely shit on the legacy of Batman. Like, and I'm not going to blame Kevin Conroy for anything. He accepted the role. He did it all. But I really think that it's just, that shit pissed me off. And then there's people saying like, oh, this new guy should step in for Kevin Conroy. Like, we're not getting it. We're not getting Arkham Batman anymore. It would be so cool if they didn't fucking kill Arkham Batman, like, I hope Rocksteady decides to make the smart decision and be like, you know what, none of this is can't, because this isn't the only thing that doesn't make sense, Suicide Squad is corporately made not just for that sake and everything else, it's corporately made, because, now, I'm about to get in a touch of topic, I, I think Deadshot was a token character, I think he is a token character in Suicide Squad, and the reason why I say that is, he has been white, white i'm not that this sounds so fucking racist i'm a black man saying this but he has been white for like probably 10 years in um like in lore history uh for arkham arkham origins arkham city he has never once been black not once the only reason why they made him black because of the movies and they did the same thing with like guardians of the galaxy like not in that type of way but they did the same thing they changed how the characters look in guardians of the galaxy but it's like Come the fuck on. 
if you're at least gonna make the like they I really genuinely think they made him black for tokenism. There's no way they went out on a limb and looked back at the Arkham because I, I know they had to look at the older games and then go off of that. There's like and then what they say in timeline wise that doesn't fucking make sense. They're like, oh yeah, so the dead shot that was white, he was basically a fake dead shot. He was a fake fucking dead shot for the last ten years and the real dead shot killed him, came back and like and that means that means, like, there's so much explaining going on with the fake Deadshot, which I don't even believe he's fake. I believe that that was a real Deadshot, and they only changed Deadshot to be black for tokenism. Now, it would make sense if you said, oh yeah, the Deadshot we're currently playing killed the original Deadshot and decided to take over his business and name. That would have made, honestly, I wouldn't even be mad for that. I wouldn't even be mad for that. That would make more fucking sense than saying, oh yeah, for the last 10 years, this guy been posing as Deadshot, which means he's been posing him before he even existed. That doesn't fucking make sense because Batman was just starting at that time, like with a two, like what, two years in his run? Like that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. And I don't, I really think this game's just corporately made and it's to be put out there. And they're like, I'm just the one person that's not going to give a shit. And I and I'm not gonna lie. I hate YouTubers that say, "Oh yeah," like I, I I'm going I'm going off on a rant. I'm sorry if I'm going off on a rant, but I hate these YouTubers that say, "Oh yeah." By the way, I have free say over whatever I want. And but but these people they they flew me out and they did this and that. And shut up. I don't want to hear from you. Like I comic historian, I love your videos. Like I know you're never gonna fucking see this. Probably I love your videos and all that, but. Just shut up. Like, you know damn well you're not having free will of saying what you want. If they covered you on letting you fly out to play the game and shit, there is no way you have free will on what you say. Because then you're not going to get sponsored by them. You're not going to get covered by them. So, you have to say exactly what they want. But you have to go out on a limb and say you have free will. Because you, you want to you wanna make it seem like you're not biased. When you're completely fucking biased because you're being paid or getting a free game from them. And that shit pissed me off when I see... Like, I hate seeing that shit. I genuinely hate seeing that shit. That shit annoys me. Like... I even seen like one of my favorite YouTubers, the Act Man. I'm probably naming a bunch of YouTubers that people don't know, but like I just I hate seeing that shit. I'm I'm going I'm going off on a rant on something else. Let me go back on topic now. But basically, it's not it's not gonna be a good game. I don't I don't even care to bother to buy it. It's like what seventy bucks something like that. It's near near damn sixty five. Probably no, it's probably seventy. It's not even probably a sixty dollar game. The game should be sixty bucks or forty. I, I don't know. I don't... I'm, I might be hating, but I'm being completely honest with you. I can't see myself playing the game. And not only that, it's like... I, I'm not going out on a limb buying a game that literally... Like, I'm going to act like this doesn't exist. That I, I, I don't... Because if they say it's fucking canon and agree... I just think it's marketing. I think it's marketing, and that's how I felt about it since before it came out. That's how I fucking felt about it. That's why I didn't give a shit about any trailers. Like, they literally added the Joker, and Roxanne didn't even know they were going to make the fucking Joker. They didn't even have a plan to make the Joker. They just fucking decided to do it, because they wanted to bring in a known character that people will have fun playing. It's like... It's like this, this is why games like this don't really, like, you have to have a plan, but there's really why there's games like these that don't succeed in a way, because Marvel, Marvel Avengers had the same problem in a way, but, I mean, it's just, and I have a feeling this game is going to be quit on, like, I don't have a feeling it's going to, like, die instantly, that's not what I'm going to say, but I have a good feeling this game isn't going to last long. Like, I think people are mostly going to play with the story with their buddies, and then as the seasons go on, whatever happens, whatever goes on, they're going to eventually drop the game and be like, okay, this is like Marvel Legends. I mean, not Marvel Legends, Marvel, goddamn, Marvel Avengers. This is going to be just like Marvel Avengers, a game we don't give a shit about. Because, like, I know many people that quit on playing Marvel Avengers, and I know it's not the same company making it and shit, and I know this is rock steady, but, like, they have done so much for Arkham Batman. 
why when you decide like i just don't get why they couldn't leave it alone that's that was my main problem why do you have to market that this is a arkham game why market that this is a fucking arkham game like it's like i feel like people should have already went off of knowing and the only people that give a shit about it are the ones that don't care about the heroes themselves or what the characters are or what the characters stand for those are the type of people that give a shit about the game I don't give a shit about the game. It's it's so dumb. It's so dumb why they decide to do this. It's so fucking dumb why they're going out on a limb selling this to you when they know. I have a feeling they fucking know that this game isn't any good. They fucking know it's not good. And they're selling it. And they're not even selling it to the right demographic. This is why games have a hard time selling shit. They're not selling it to the right fucking demographic, in my opinion. Like, if you're going to sell it to the demographic that you choose to sell, sell it to like this is this is my same problem i have with ad like this has to do with advertising in a way i hate when youtubers like that play a certain game they do a they do like an advertisement for some fucking game some fucking game that they'll you know they'll never play on their channel and they they're so fake about supporting the game when they don't really give a shit about the game like it's like it's like why why do advertisers choose the worst type of advertisement for their game? And I feel like Rocksteady knew that people will only give a shit about the game if it's connected to Arkham. If we say this is a fucking Arkham, even though the Batman armor face look and everything looks nothing like Arkham Batman, in my opinion. I looked at it, it looks nothing like Arkham Batman. It's like, let's say this is Arkham Batman... People will give a shit. And it's like, you can, and I get it, it's called Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. But if you're at least going to go with that, kill Batman in a satisfying way. Like, we literally sat through, like, a like a decade of this man's games. Three, like, four different games. Four different games. Five games if you're including Blackgate, but that doesn't even have Kevin Conroy, and neither does Arkham Origins. But, four games. We sat through this character's four games, played it, enjoyed it, and had a thrilling time. Even though most people didn't like Arkham Origins, I think they should have just remastered Arkham Origins at this point. They should have did a re like it, they would have they would have got so much money if they wanted money. They would have got so much money out of remastering Arkham Origins over sending this fl flaming shit into the gutter of any system. Like, I just think you should have instead, like, I don't get why WB will never remaster Arkham Origins. They should have. This is honestly a hint saying, like, and I know Rocksteady was behind this, but God damn it, Rocksteady, why? You made a legendary gaming franchise, and you decide to spat on your own franchise. You're, like, you spit it on your own franchise. It's like let's take what we have done and, and, you know, accomplished over the last eight years that people appreciate the game that is known as God of Gaming, the best combat gaming, gaming game you have ever played. Like, I, 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 God, I can't believe I said that twice. But let's take something that has the best combat. Let's take something that has accomplished so much. And then let's not only that, but let's completely shit on our work that we have done. The work, like, let's completely shit on everything that we have done. Like, the guy that took, like, two years to make the cape physics, let's shit on that. Let's shit on the fact that we have made a legacy for Kevin Tom, like, gave him one of the best roles in Batman history. Let's, let's shit on everything that we have done. That's what, and I have a feeling Roxy didn't do that. I have a feeling that was just a corporate decision. I think it was a corporate decision decision because they like I, I don't know why I don't have much more to say I don't have fucking much more to say like what what more do I need to say to go out on a limb on I just think it's the fact that they went out they went out there and they like they decided to say let's say this is connected to Arkham now even though Harley Quinn does not look the same as she did in Arkham, Deadshot looks nothing like he did in Arkham. King Shark, I don't even know where the fuck he came from. And then you have fucking, uh, who, who else? Captain Jack, which is a Flash villain, which never made an appearance in Arkham. And it's like, 
why take a franchise that like I this is why I hate games that continue a franchise like Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed. Now I have played Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I enjoyed Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but that was the last Assassin's Creed game I was buying. If I'm going to be genuinely honest, I don't give a shit about franchises that continue to push out shit every year because it's and the only and and the only my my only uh, X claim on that is 2K. Why? Because it's fucking wrestling. I don't have any other alternatives to play a wrestling game. It's 2K and. Like, I, 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 I'm not going to go in on WWE right now because this is a fucking Arkham video. So that's a whole nother statement claim. But it's just like, I'm done with yearly, like, yearly games like Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty. Just anything that doesn't really sustain anything for me. Like, just anything like that. Just... Like, 2K, they've been stepping up their game. Like, I dropped them a long time ago. Like, I did the same thing back then. I stopped playing 2K because I stopped caring about wrestling. I stopped caring about their games because I was like, it's the same game every year. And, like, people outside of wrestling, I, I'm getting off of it. Let me not, let me not go there today. But I think I said what I need. This Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a, cor a, uh, a corporately made game. For those that love Arkham, and which I don't even know why they would try to sell sell it to Arkham fans. I don't know why you were trying to do that. Like, that's what they were selling it to. I hate to say it, and that's why so many people are pissed, because it's Arkham fans you're pissing off. You're not pissing off your main demographic. You're not pissing off anybody that doesn't that never played a superhero game. You're pissing off the people that have spent like their livelihood playing those Batman games games you created that's what i don't get why sell it to those people and not only why sell it to those people it's like do you really need to go out on a limb and said it? it's connected to arkham that's like fucking gotham knight saying oh yeah this is arkham after batman uh died that's basically what they would they could have done and they could have done it too that's the funniest thing they could have really went out on a limb and said this is the batman game after arkham that's what they did that's what they fucking did. And honestly, I like they could have done that. I mean, what am I talking about? They could have done that, but they decided to make their own universe. And that's why I kind of wish this game did. But then it's like, oh, it doesn't make sense because we never spent the time with these characters and shit, which we still have in Wonder Woman, Superman. Like, we never got to spend any time with these characters. And the only character we got to spend time with in this universe is Batman. So it's like you could have still said it's not connected to Arkham and have the game that you want. A corporately made game. And I wonder wherever that guy is that said, oh yeah, I was hyped for Super Suicide Squad. Like, I wonder where that guy is. Because this game, I knew since the trailers, the only way it was selling was to the Arkham demographic. And that's a, that's a type of demographic that you're only selling to. Because you have to realize your fan base, your rock steady. If you say it's connected to Arkham, people are going to get fucking hyped and be like, I'm buying this game just because it's connected to Arkham. That's how some people feel. I don't feel that way. I feel like... That the last four games, five games, if you want to count Blackgate, um, I'm just, well, actually, technically, if you want to say seven games because of the, uh, the mobile, but the last seven games, I'm just saying this now, I don't connect it to any Arkham. I don't, I don't confirm it's canon. In my universe, I'm just going to say it's not canon. Because honestly, why would I want to consider something canon where Batman gets gun stopped by someone he fucking stopped like three fucking different times? You know, like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, it's like you kind of, like, I get that they, okay. I get that they want to write off the character, which is so fucking stupid. If I were you, I would. If I was fucking Rocksteady or whoever was corporately behind this game, I would have left Arkham alone. Because the cool thing about Arkham Knight that I thought was cool was when. I, I kind of like this. I like when stories or games or movies or media have this thing where they leave you to your own interpretation. And that's what Arkham Knight did. At the end of Arkham, you're either thinking it's Bruce Wayne, Damian Wayne. You're either like you're wondering who is this nightmare Batman at the end of Arkham Knight? Who who is now running the streets of Gotham? Now we know. We know now. We know now that it was Batman. But it's just so it's so pissy that they decided to do that when they could have just. 
they could have just left it fucking alone. Because that was such a good idea. Leave it to your own interpretation of how Batman continues. That is a great way to end off Batman. Batman's identity gets revealed. How do we finish up a big follow-up? Leave it to the viewer's interpretation. But no, instead, they come out eight years later and shit on the thing they very, the greatest thing they very created. That's that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. I don't have much more to say. This video probably been going on for a long ass time. How long? Does it say 24 fucking minutes? Goddamn, I can really talk. Anyways, I'm going to end the video. Subscribe to your new channel. Like, comment below. Leave post notifications on. Let me comment your thoughts in the comment. Comment what you have to say. Nah, I can't fucking speak because I'm so pissed and kind of sick. But uh, comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about this whole fucking decision. Is it corp? Let me know. Do you think it's corporately made? Do you think they corporately made Suicide Squad just to put it out there because of the movies? Uh, tell me what you think. Because I'm going to be honest with you. It's crazy how no one got mad about Deadshot basically being a token character. Like... Am I really as a black, like I'm, I'm mixed. I am a mixed black man. I am black and white. Am I really supposed to be like, oh, Deadshot's black. Let me play this black man. I'm hyped that they're doing a black man. That's tokenism. You're already more racist than racist. Like, I, I hate to say it, but when you decide to token a character when it makes no fucking sense, th this is what I'm mad about. I don't know how no one's mad about the Poison Ivy. I don't know. Like, they already basically shat on the universe before the Batman trailer. But people get set off when Batman dies. They were already ruining the universe before you know it. That's, that's, my, that's my ideals to you. And it's like... It's like, I don't get how you're not mad about the fact that, like, and, and this is why the people aren't mad about the fact that Deadshot's black. Like, it's, yeah, I'm sounding like a fucking racist, but when you make a character black and it doesn't make any fucking sense in lore, you're, token, you're, you're tokenizing a character. And that's so fucking stupid. It's so stupid when you decide to say, hey, Deadshot's black in the movie, so let's make him black here. What do you say? Like, no! That doesn't make any sense. Why make why make a character black when the character before in lore hasn't been black? It doesn't matter about skin color. That that's what like like it doesn't matter what color we have on our backs. What matters is the character itself. Like and I I sound like a fucking racist, but it's like when you know previously in Arkham City and Arkham Origins, Deadshot was white, white, fucking white, and then you decide to say, oh yeah, we're just going to make him black out of nowhere. Even though it makes no fucking sense, we're going to make him black out of nowhere. Because in the movies, Will Smith played a black played a black Deadshot. And in the second movie, I don't know the actor, but he had some funny lines with John Cena. Like, come on! Is that really why you're doing it? I feel like that's why they're doing it. I'm being so honest with you, that's why they're doing it. And it's like the game was already doomed to fail when you decide to tokenize a character. Instead of just adding the character Character that was from the original game and decide to make him like interesting like like add more interest like because it would have been the third time we got to see the actual dead child like i'm sounding like a fucking racist but when you don't have a good story lined up for why the character is black or why they are what they are and it makes no fucking sense i don't agree with you in any way like you can call me a fucking racist all you fucking want but it's like it makes no fucking sense why we aren't mad about tokenizing a character when it shouldn't be tokenized. Like, not even that. You shouldn't have to tokenize a character just for that reason. That's the reason why they tokenize a character, and no one's mad about that. People get mad about many things over Twitter or whatever, but they don't get mad about the fact that you, like, the game The game is already a corporately scam. It, it is already a scam when you decide to take everything that someone loves and then try to maximize it to the to the minimum, like, it's like, it doesn't make any fucking sense, but that's why, like, I'm mad about the Batman thing, yes, but I'm also mad, but at the same time, like, I can take away from Batman being mad, but it's like, when you have Arkham Batman, which has done fucking everything, beaten every rogues gallery in the Arkham universe, it's like, you can't say that he's the same Batman as the animated series. You can't just use that line where he says, no matter 
I'll continue until no matter who takes me down, the Joker, maybe Two-Face, or even just some punk with a gun. See, I could get if if it was fucking animated series Batman, but this is fucking Arkham Batman. A Batman that can fucking do almost anything. He can do fucking multi-stealth takedowns like he's the fucking Flash. He can fucking, he can do almost anything. Almost anything. You're telling me this man gets taken down by Harley Quinn with a gunshot? Really? Really? Fucking really? That, my, uh, that shit doesn't make any sense. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to end the video here. I digress. Subscribe to your channel. Like, comment below. Leave post notifications on. And leave some comments down below because I want to know your thoughts, guys. I, I just want to know. I want to know. All right. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you later.